Hi there, there's been a lot of uh, coverage over the last few days with regards to Zoom video conferencing and the security threats. You just have to type it into Google and you'll see that there is reports of uh, Zoom not using full end-to-end -end encryption like it purported to do so. Uh, there's also leaked uh, thousands of email addresses to strangers and Windows versions of Zoom are vulnerable to attackers who send malicious links to chat. And this is also allowing access to email and passwords and of course don't forget there's been um, a little bit of information being sent to the likes of Facebook so there's um, a bit of a privacy concern. So the main thing to do at this point in time is to update uh, your client and that's with regardless of whether you're running it on PC or Mac or Android or iOS. Make sure you have your system up to date and your Zoom client up to date. So Zoom sent out a briefing earlier on in the week. I think it was on the first and this is the, the briefing here. So just make sure you have a quick read over that. What I'm going to do in this video is uh, make sure I let you know about all of the different settings, uh, how to make it a lot more secure and of course how to do that update. First things first, to do an update you probably see this already at the top of your screen doesn't matter if you don't what you need to do is go up to the top right there in there you can click on check for updates click on that then you should see this new update available the same process is for a Mac as well as a Windows PC press the update button and you should be good to go now, if you're already set up with a meeting and you want to change the security settings for screen sharing midway through the meeting, if you move your mouse into the uh, screen itself, you'll see the black border at the bottom and there's the uh, share screen icon in the middle there. To the immediate right of that, there's a little arrow. You click on that, uh, it pops up with a box saying advanced sharing options and you can choose who can share the information. So only host or all participants. Obviously, if you want to, you can change this on the fly, but my default would be to set it to only host so that your other participants can't start sharing uh, other content on your screen willy nilly. I'd also recommend that you go into the settings and disable the remote control of all applications. To go into the settings, simply go into the main screen of Zoom and press the cog icon in the top right of the screen. And there you'll find under the old version of the app, in the general section, underneath content sharing, there's a tick box and it says enable the remote control of all applications. In the newest version, it's changed in on the left hand side, there's a section called share screen and the same um, tick box is there. Here's also a few other thoughts. If you're scheduling a meeting, have a look here. You'll see that you can require a meeting password and this is on by default. But if you are scheduling a meeting, just bear in mind that this password be given in plain text when you press this button. So you'll see this password come up here in the URL and it's also here. So if you copy, copy to the clipboard or open with the default calendar, that password is going to be given effectively in plain text. What you could do is just give them the short link, which is here, and then tell them via other methods such as SMS or via an instant messenger such as Slack. And you could tell them this, say here's the link and the password will be coming separately so that other people could, couldn't get that password. The other options when you're scheduling a meeting as well is if you click on advanced options, there's this option here, enable join before host. So that means that other people can join before you do. You might want to switch that one off and you might also want to switch on mute participants on entry just in case there are some people who shouldn't have joined the meeting. Last but not least, it's important that you check the advanced features. To do that, click on settings again, then move down to profile. Once you see profile, you should see a box that says view advanced features. Click on that. Right, so once you're in these advanced settings, you'll see there's a whole bunch of them. But I'll just start, there's only a few of them that really um, do matter. So first of all, this one here, participants video, make sure that's switched to off so that when people join the video, they have to specifically enable the video uh, to get in. And then the next one is 
only authenticated users can join meeting. Now that means that they have to log in and have their right uh, credentials in order to get into the meeting. The next one is require password when scheduling new meetings. Okay, and then mute participants on entry. So that just means that if anybody's uh, hijacked your meeting, they'll automatically be muted when they join in. That's also kind of handy anyway, because sometimes people are setting up their microphones or whatever still when they, they join in. The next one's a wee bit controversial. It's switching off of chat. Now, at the moment, there is a vulnerability that allows people to hijack um, the, the chat messages and allow access to send email passwords and so forth. So best off switching that off for now. And then obviously once that issue has been resolved, you can switch it back on. And obviously most workplaces have other methods of chatting anyway, such as Slack. So it's hopefully not such a big deal. And then down here, there is an option to have file transfer, an option which I've never used in Zoom personally. And of course, again, there are probably many other ways that you can transfer files rather than having to do it through Zoom. So my recommendation is just to switch that off entirely. And then finally, going down to screen sharing, um, you probably don't want all of your participants to share the screen. Maybe, I don't know, but for, for now, probably switch on host only. And then again, who can start sharing when somebody else is sharing? If you do leave it to all participants, probably best to put that on to host only. Again, your, your choice entirely, but um, that one there is probably advised whilst there are security problems going on. That's it for the advanced settings um, on your own system. However, if you do have admin access to um, Zoom, then you can also go into the security setting down here. So this is under admin and then down to security. And you can say um, basic uh, password requirements and then there's enhanced password rules and so forth here so you can enable special characters and so forth. Now down here, there's a few uh, handy um, settings here as well. And this one here, uh, if you have SSO, single sign-on, then it's great to switch that on. Of course, the single uh, sign-in with two-factor authentication. If you can enable that, then please do. That will sort a lot of problems uh, in your um, organization. And then finally, allowing users to sign in with Google or Facebook. If that doesn't really apply to your organization, then make sure both of those options are switched off. Well, that's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Until then, thanks very much for watching.